space has often been called the final frontier. Its wonders have sprawled entirely new branches of science for centuries. And despite everything we know about the galaxies, nebulae, and supernovae that surround us, discoveries can still be made every day. What we have learned about our final frontier has told us more about our past, present, and future, setting our greatest minds to work, daring them to go further, and tell us more about the mysteries of our universe. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be scratching the surface of three noteworthy mysteries. Physicist claims alien messages may be hidden in the stars. Everyone has at some point wondered about the possibility of life outside of Earth. It is nearly impossible not to when gazing into the empty, never-ending space above us, counting the stars. With space being so vast and seemingly endless, many wonder how or why we have not yet contacted extraterrestrial life. This phenomenon has been named the Fermi Paradox. The Fermi Paradox refers to the confusing contradiction between the complete lack of evidence for extraterrestrial life and the seemingly high probability of their existence. Some scientists believe they have the solution to explain why we have not made any contact with aliens. Terry Rudolph, a quantum physicist at the Imperial College London, suggests that aliens have been attempting to communicate with us through the stars themselves. Rudolph speculates that if aliens were to communicate vast distances, they would likely attempt to do so in more subtle ways, as to direct any communication to one planet without interference from other extraterrestrial life. As a result, a possible method of communication would be through the stars. He further explains his hypothesis by stating that aliens could potentially manipulate the photons inside individual stars to alter the light emitted from them. This fluctuation in the light of a star could be translated if we could uncover the code. Rudolf postulates, photons can propagate billions of light years and retain significant quantum coherence. This makes stars a reliable resource for communication and allows for messages to be sent across extremely long distances without disturbance. He believes that this method of communication could be appealing to an alien population if they are aware of other alien populations that pose a threat. So how can we translate these messages? As an extensively educated physicist, Rudolf feels confident in the possibility of this theory. However, he does not claim that aliens are communicating in this manner, rather that it is possible. If his theory were true, it still leaves one crucial issue. We have no way of translating messages in the stars. If aliens were utilizing this method, they would need to provide us with some form of a decoder to allow us to understand any of their messages. Until then, Surely, it remains a mystery. NASA is set up to explore a massive metal asteroid. We are all familiar with asteroids and are a valuable research material. NASA are beginning to investigate an astonishingly large asteroid reaching a staggering 140 miles in width. This is 16 Psyche the huge asteroid that NASA is hoping to find the ins and outs of in 2022. Researchers have managed to research the light reflected from the asteroid, and the data suggests the asteroid could contain iron, nickel or gold within the celestial object. It is no secret that asteroids can be immensely valuable. The only catch here is that by the time asteroids make it to Earth, the atmosphere tends to have destroyed a great deal of the material. This asteroid is estimated to clock in at a grand total of $10,000 quadrillion. For reference, according to Statista, in 2020 the global economy was worth $84.5 trillion. 16 Psyche was first observed in 1852, spied in the main asteroid belt lying between Mars and Jupiter. This places it three times further away from the Sun, and it takes five years here on Earth to complete one orbit of the Sun for 16 Psyche. Principal investigator from the Arizona State University, Lindy Elkins Tanton, said that if it does end up being one part of the larger metal core, this would be the first discovery of its kind in our own solar system, telling us about the first generation of early cores. She speculates the above, but clarifies after, but we don't really know, and we won't know anything for sure until we get there. 
Research into this asteroid could reveal what materials contributed to the formation of our planets. We have not got too much information on 16 Psyche as of yet. We are yet to have a mission reach the asteroid, though a NASA mission, also named 16 Psyche, is set to depart in August 2022, looking for more answers. Even more difficult, however, is conducting observations from here on Earth. Through our telescopes from home, 16 Psyche appears as nothing more than a fuzzy blip on the screen. Satellite telescopes, like the famous Hubble Space Telescope, are unable to capture a large amount of detail, unfortunately. We have been able to draw some limited conclusions thanks to the work of radar data scientists, who have been able to figure out how the asteroid rotates and that it has a somewhat oval shape. When NASA sends their mission off, 16 Psyche will be observed for 21 months by an orbiter spanning 435 miles above the surface of the asteroid. Elkins Tanton said, We don't know what we are going to find. I'm expecting us to be entirely surprised. Hopefully, as we begin to unravel more and more, we can understand the specifics behind the asteroids that keep us company within our solar system. Exoplanet Collision at BD 2307 We have lots of wonderful tools and impressive telescopes at our disposal, including the well-known names like the Hubble Space Telescope or the Keck Observatory. However, one of the more impressive and interesting observatories has been built through a team effort between NASA and DLR, the German Aerospace Center. That is SOFIA, the Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy. This is a Boeing 747 aircraft fitted with an infrared telescope on the port side of the fuselage. This telescope is fully decked out for infrared astronomy, including FORECAST, the faint object infrared camera for the SOFIA telescope. Forecast, fitted on Sophia in 2019, spied what could be a truly fascinating discovery. Scientists believe it could have been the collision of two exoplanets. BD 20307 is about 300 million light years from Earth. It is a double system formed of stars that are crucial to this research. The system is roughly a billion years old. By the time a system is this old, we expect all circumstellar dust to have disappeared, though just 10 years ago, observations from the Spitzer instrument suggested warm debris was around the system. Sophia has collected some new data to add to the discussion. This has shown that the infrared brightness of the debris at BD 20307 has increased by 10% over the course of 10 years. This is a quick development that we do not usually see in an established older system like this. Some scientists are suggesting that the quick developments and out-of-the-ordinary features could point towards a collision of two exoplanets. Alicia Weinberger, a scientist at the Carnegie Institution for Science's Department of Terrestrial Magnetism and lead investigator of the research, explains that the SOFIA observations are incredibly valuable, both in the timescale the changes are shown on and in the rarity of the observation. She said, this is a rare opportunity to study catastrophic collisions occurring late in a planetary system's history. This research could also help develop our understanding into the development of binary systems, looking at how they evolve. The hope is that this knowledge could then be applicable during research towards the Alpha Centauri triple system. If the unusual activity going on at BD 20307 is in fact an exoplanet collision, more research should be able to help us confirm this. We can then look for these same signs in other parts of our universe and keep an eye out for potential hazards within our own solar system. Some have even suggested that the large axial tilt of Uranus is likely due to a number of collisions. As the research develops, we can hope to draw more concrete conclusions. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.